Alright, guys, welcome back. <clears throat> this is, oh, crap, episode 35? Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so there's two things that I want to show you. I mean, the house is pretty much exactly the same. I've got some, a few more stuff. I've got some iron cooking. Um, got some lapis that I just happened to find digging my mine. Uh, if my voice sounds a little weird, I'm sorry. Um, I've done a lot of talking today, so... Uh, once I finish this ow, episode, I'll get to uploading the episodes I've recorded today. Because I've, I've, I've recorded three things today. So, at least. Um, so yeah. This is my mine. just goes all the way down to bedrock. I am going to put in a rail, just like I did um, towards my mob trap back at the old house. Uh, so it just rides down here. Goes all the way down to the bottom. It, it doesn't even go anywhere right now. It's just like a eight by two room down there um, but yeah I just finished that so I, I wanted to have that at least done before I came on with another video I was hoping to find a cave in there because that would mean that I could you know explore a cave for an episode but no luck um, I'm thinking I might return back to the old desert near my house because there are actually lots of deserts near my house like on both sides of my house there was a desert I'm gonna sleep since it's gonna get dark um, so just because I want to get a lot of sand and I don't want to destroy this desert trying to get sand out of it <laughs> um, I've already like I don't know if you guys noticed but there was like a one block high little island out here in this large flat area and there were probably several actually and I've taken all of them down um, I evened that out because it came out all weird so I I made it nice and smooth and again more little one block high islands I've gone and tried to make the water look nicer, but I really need to round out the edges, um, because some of the things just look awful. Um, okay, you're going to see something come up on the horizon. Just just save your... your uh, you'll, you'll know what I mean when, when you see it. Uh, um, just try not to laugh, because <laughs> that was the only way I could think of to build it. So, like, things like this, this used to be uh, just, you know a pond, but then it caved in, and now it's all ugly, and, um, I try to fix things like that, so they aren't so ugly, but it's seeming like it's in vain, because they just keep happening all over the place. Okay, so, um, yeah, I made a mob, t oh god, this thing just keeps going. I made a mob trap on that spider spawner, and it works alright, but I have to be there, like, standing at it the whole time. That's what that is in the distance. Um, because if they build up, then they start climbing back up. And um, that's not very helpful. So, yes, I realize what it looks like. I realized that when I was building it, but I didn't know how else to do it. So, um, because this room needs to be long enough to put chests in. Because I expect to get a lot of stuff from this. And the spiders just float up there and go all the way up to the top and then drop down. Personally, I like it. I think it looks cool, and I'm going to have um, a little oasis thing around here so that water just pours off the top and lands in a little pool down behind, down around it. That'll probably just like go circle around to this point so that it'll just have a little pool behind it. And maybe even that like comes up to the sides here, so it's almost entirely surrounded. But they stop spawning once you get to like this block, so um, I think I made it pretty well. Again, you have to be standing here the whole time. Um, originally, I was having a lot of trouble because they, uh, they... Go ahead. Go on. There you go. Um, they would fall. It was originally just a two-by-two two hole. And they would fall. And as soon as two got down here, like, if they started to build up, um, first of all, a lot of them wouldn't hit the ground. They would start... They would stop falling at, like, this block. For some reason, they'd just decide to grab onto a wall as soon as they got there. So they wouldn't take any damage at all. And that was unfortunate. I, I can grab the stuff that's up there just by jumping up. Um, so I had to make it bigger, which is what this is about. And also because they, um, if two of them got down here at the same time, they would, because they'd be in each other, they'd be pushed away from each other. So they'd be pressed into the walls, despite the fact that they're actually in each other. Um, and being pressed into the walls would make them float up. So they would just, as soon as the second one fell on top of the first one, they'd just float up all the way up to the top, and then just stay there. 
and then they just keep piling up there and they drown in the tube and it would just fall back down and it didn't do much good. Every once in a while, one drowns before it, or one uh, will take some damage from drowning before it gets here. At least I'm assuming that's what it's, why it's dying. Uh, but some will die on hit because they've taken like a half heart. Because they have a half heart left when they hit the ground here, when they hit this platform. Which it is just this, like, oh, oh, yeah, see that one died. And so did that one. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a, a hole, pretty much, that I just covered up half. That's sand. I should know better than that. Oh, that one still took damage, though. But yeah, so they just fall down onto this hole, and um, I kill them from there. Originally, I had fence, or er, not fence gates. Uh, I had iron bars here, like in, in these two air blocks. Um, but apparently, spiders are not actually two blocks wide. They are um, one and a half blocks wide or less, because they could fit through that space, like... This block was an air block, and this one was an iron gate, or iron fence, iron whatever it is. Iron bars, there we go. And, you know, the iron bars stop, like, right about here. Well, the spiders could fit through that from here to this wall. So, apparently, they're only, like, one and a half blocks wide. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, this is my experience trap right now. And, also, it's my way of getting wool, if I really want it. Um... I just have a chest right here. You know, no big deal. Um, I intend to put some kind of, like, piston door here, but it'll have to be entirely underground, and it'll have to be an interesting double piston. Like, one piston pushes another piston that then extends to push these blocks up two blocks. Um, which, they'll have to be sand, I'm sure. Um, so that I can... Because, uh, as... If these are sand, then I can just push up both, push up the blocks twice, and then just pull the pistons back down, and the sand will fall back down. Whereas if they're sandstone, I'd have to pull, push them up, and then pull them both back down, which I can't do. So those will probably be sand once I get this thing done, and I'll just have sand doors. But um, because I I can't really fit pistons anywhere else in here. So yeah. Um. Unless I make it so that it's like it pulls down the piston, or it pulls down this first one, comes off to the side, grabs it from, like, under here, and pulls it back in, and then reaches up and pulls down the next one. But I don't know how I would do that, really. It sounds like there's a lot of spiders, but I don't see any, which is confusing me. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I've done so far, uh, which I say that, like, it's nothing. I've, been, I've spent a lot of time on this. Are they dying up there? Apparently it takes them a while to get through this tube. Um, I don't know why, it's all solid water blocks, and there are spaces for them to breathe, so, like, you can see how the water comes down here. That's because there's a sign on this side of the, um, on, not this glass block, but the sandstone block above it, there's a sign there, you can see one over there, so they can breathe. Um, yeah, see, I can grab the, the loot that they drop. But it just does, it does just require me to stand here for the entire time and be at the computer, or else they'll just float up there, and I'll have to walk away until they despawn. I do intend to put chests all around here, but uh, as of right now, I just didn't because I don't have that much stuff. Um, I don't know how long, how much time I intend to spend here, and maybe I'll find some way to um, keep them from... I don't know. See, I don't know how to make it so that they don't climb back up, because if I did, then that would be easy to make it so that they wouldn't, um, they wouldn't be able to get back up, and I could just sit here and let it go, but you know... That's okay. I don't mind standing here, I guess, for some experience. I mean, it's not like I'll... It'll take me, like, 20 minutes to get a, um... An actual, you know, good amount of experience going. But that's alright. I don't mind. Anyway, so that's that. I will, at some point or another, once I've got my tower started, I will be building a, um... A minecart track over here. And it will be a sky bridge. So that should look pretty cool, going through the desert all sandstone and stuff, um, which is, again, I'm going to need tons of sand, because sandstone is incredibly expensive. It takes four sand blocks to make one sandstone, which means if I go through four shovels worth of, um, like, four iron shovels worth of sand, I get one iron pick's worth of um, sandstone. So I may just go back to that desert at my old place and just start mass farming um, sand. 
because I can do it easily there. I can just like dig down to the bottom of the sand and then just do what Etho does and um, have it just drop down onto torches because when sand falls on a torch, it just gets destroyed. So um, that way I could just bring down whole, like incredibly large amounts of sand at one time, um, which would really help me out. Because I mean, you see, I've got a lot here. This right here is one stack of sandstone. Um, these four sand blocks, that'll come out to be one stack of sandstone. I have two stacks right now. So it's incredibly expensive, and that may be the only way I can do it without destroying this landscape here. I mean, I suppose the desert's pretty big, but still, since this is my home, I, I want to build something out over there too, like a wheat farm or something, like off in the distance so I can have my sky bridge go all over the place. Um, I'm going to have it stop at all three of these. But anyway, I need to go before this recording breaks. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.